so, you have a state trooper pull him over. You search the car. What if he detonates it? Detonates what? Exactly. What is it? Is it nuclear, biological, chemical? We don't know what, but why are we going to give this guy a chance to pull the trigger? Okay. Wait. You're going to kill him, aren't you? That's what this is. That's what this room is, right? That's why you're here. It was a role made famous by Robert Redford in the 70s, and it's back as a new series on the Audience Network. We're talking about the conspiracy thriller Condor, starring Max Irons, and he joins me this morning. Welcome, Max. How are you today? Hello, I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? I am well. Excited to talk with you, and I'm always Good. fascinated about actors and why they choose the projects that they do. What was it about Condor? Mm -hmm. Because obviously the history's there, the role's already famous. What was in it for you? What drew you to it? Oh, God, I think there were so many things. Uh, firstly, the writing is second to none. The cast we have around us, we have William Hurt, uh, Brendan Fraser being astonishingly good, Mira Savino, Bob Balaban. But to me, the, the most interesting thing at the heart of Condor were some of the issues that it throws up to the audience. A, a lot of TV shows, I think, present a good guy and a bad guy, and they face off over 10 episodes, and the good guy wins, and that's the end of it. I think Condor is far more complex. It, 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 it provides questions about the world we live in, but it doesn't answer them for you. It lets you do that uh, on your own time. It also makes you question, I think, a couple of things that we turn away from in our society. You know, we're very lucky in, in North America and in Western Europe. We have access to cheap, affordable gas for our cars, for instance. We have access to year-round uh, fruit and vegetables imported from all over the world. We have cell phones in our pocket that uh, can do extraordinary things. However, for those luxuries, we turn away from a couple of truths. For example, uh, gas in our cars. There are a couple of wars in the Middle East that have enabled us to, to have that constant flow of gasoline. Uh, pesticides are used um, in order to guarantee the food we eat. Uh, civil rights are signed away in order to uh, guarantee the functionality of our cell phones. I think what Condor does is, is, it, is it forces us, as the viewer, to look at some of the things that we have turned away from, and in this case, national security. You know, I, I mean, of course, you set that up very well. I could not have done that even if I was reading the script there. So setting that, the one thing that you left out is you're kind of an action hero in this uh, in this situation. So of course you had the training, but then you also have the thriller element. So there's secrets to be kept by you as well. So you have both dynamics, which has got to be thrilling. Yeah, yeah, I think, again, this is, this is what was nice about this particular character. You know, he's not just an action star. In fact, he, he's a normal guy. He's an analyst for within the CIA. He's not, he's not a train, you know, he's not James Bond. Uh, he's just the normal guy whose day-to-day -day involves sitting in front of a computer and, and, and s staring at algorithmic problems, searching for patterns. But that, in this case, is what gets him into trouble. He discovers a plot within the CIA uh, to start an anti-Islamic narrative to justify a far more aggressive foreign policy. The only problem with that is that it comes at the expense of millions of American lives and millions of foreign lives. So when Joe accidentally discovers this plot, he finds all his friends and all his co-workers gunned down within hours, and he finds himself being pursued by hardened, trained killers. Uh, and he has to very much think on his feet in order to survive. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, being able to wake up to that kind of situation. Well, again, if you want to check yeah, out nobody Condor. nobody wants that. Uh, right, right. Well, if you want to check out Condor for yourself, <laughs> actually premieres tonight, once again, on the Audience Network at 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us today. Best of luck as well. Thank you. Thank you very much.